In the previous video, we installed Python 3 using the Homebrew Package Manager. In this video, we're going to install PyCharm. So go ahead, open up a browser, and type in PyCharm. Go to the website URL, jetbrains.com forward slash PyCharm. On this website page, scroll down to see the black button that says Download Now. Make sure that underneath the words Download PyCharm, Mac OS is selected. Then scroll down and find the words Community. Under Community, click the black Download button with the words below it, Free Open Source. This will open a download page that will begin downloading and give us the option to download. I've already gone ahead and downloaded, so I'm going to click Cancel, but you should click Save. Once the file has downloaded, go ahead and you can close out your browser and then locate it in your downloads directory. So if we open up a finder window and we go to our downloads, we can find PyCharm. Double click the PyCharm.dmg and this will open a pop up that says drag PyCharm into the shortcut here. So we're going to take it and we're going to drag it over now it's going to install I'm going to pause the video while it's installing once the application finishes installing go ahead and close this window out next you can go over to your applications directory here and find PyCharm or you can do it in the launch pad now you can't see mine because I actually have it down in the bottom of my screen so I'm going to do it here and find PyCharm and there's PyCharm I'm going to also make sure I eject the PyCharm disk mount here double click on the PyCharm application icon and PyCharm will now load up for the first time you'll get a notice that says PyCharm is an application downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? Go ahead, click open. On the next pi, uh, pop up, go ahead and say, Do not import settings. Click OK because this, are, this is our first time installing it. And then you can check this if you want to provide random or anonymous statistics of how you run your program and if you have any failures or effects, effects on your operating system. I'm just going to click OK. And then in the next window, it says, how would you like to set up your theme? Now, you can go through advanced features and install additional plugins, but for this example, we don't need to deal with that at the moment. Click the button, skip remaining, and set defaults. After the loader loads, a new window will pop up and says create a new project. Go ahead, click create new project. Give it the title hello or hello world. I'm going to give it the name hello and say create. Notice that it gets saved to users, your name, and then Python projects. Next, the application will load. Here, you get a tip of the day. Every time you load up the screen, they'll give you nifty little tips that'll tell you shortcuts, possibly help, help you figure out how the program actually works. So until you get really familiar with the program, you may want to keep on show tips. I'm personally going to turn it off and then click close. Your environment will start to load. And then once it's done loading, we want to come over here and we want to expand our directory then we can either on the root of our directory which is for me hello if it's yours hello world or whatever it may be called you can select that click file new and then a pop-up will appear and we can create specific files or a python file or a directory you can also right click and select new python file now let's call this hello and i could type dot py if i wanted to 
but the Python or PyCharm program will actually do that for us if we click OK. Next, go ahead and type the words print. Now if I press tab, it'll help me autofill. If I type colon or quotation marks, it'll create an opening quotation mark and a close quotation mark. And then we can type hello world. Now in this programming language, you don't need to use semicolons. So at this point, make sure you save your program. It might actually automatically save for you. And you can either click run here and then click run and select hello, or you can right click on the file or program name and say run whatever the program name is. And we get an output of hello world. So let's try this one more time. If we put a comma and then so we say hello, how are you? And then we can either click here, since we have hello selected, we can click play here, or we can also click play here. Hello, how are you? Oh, I spelled hello, how are you incorrectly. So next, let's do that again, and I get the correct output. You've successfully installed PyCharm and created your first Python program. Congratulations.